everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for this color blocked bandana scarf. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so for this bandana scarf, you'll need some yarn. If you're following exactly the pattern that I'm um, doing today, you'll need three colors of a two weight or it used to be known as sport, but a two weight fine yarn. This is a wool and acrylic blend. I think it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool blend. So I've got my three colors there. You'll need a crochet hook and if you want to get the same um, results as I'm or very similar results to what I'm getting today with the size with regards to the size then use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You could go up to a 4, you could go down to a 3 but I'm going to recommend that you use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. A darning needle to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors to snip off your ends. Okay, so the stitches and techniques that you'll need to know to make this bandana scarf are how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to double crochet, how to double crochet decrease, how to change colors, but I'll show you how to do that, or at least how I do that, and then you'll uh, need to be able to weave in your ends. Okay, so just a few notes on sizing this bandana scarf. Um, for this pattern with the three colors, with the color blocking, I'm um, going to show you one size. So it'll be 59 rows, and you can increase and decrease the size of your bandana scarf by changing the size of the hook that you use. So you could use a three millimeter to uh, decrease the size. You could use, for example, a four millimeter to increase the size. Now, that's just if you're color blocking like I am. If you are using just one color, in theory, you can um, you could make this as small or as large as you want just by altering the number of increases and decreases. So I'm just using that 59 rows so I can do this color block effect and show you a one size project. But you can, like I said, you, if you if you feel capable of making the adjustments in the in the sizing of your color blocks and then altering the size of this pattern, if you're quite um, you know skilled in crochet and you know basic mathematics, then you could certainly adjust this to suit your own sizing. So I'm going to show you this one size today. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, choose your color one and slip knot onto your hook however you do that and then chain three okay so then locate the last chain or the um, thir the third chain from the hook and place a double crochet into that chain And that completes row one. Okay, so moving on to row two, chain three. And throughout this project, we're always chaining three to start the new row. So turn your work. And into this chain space, so just open up your work and you'll find that you've, so that's your chain that you, you made at the beginning. Insert three double crochets into that chain space. So that's one and two and three. Okay, so that's row two. Moving on to row three, chain two, uh, sorry, chain three. So always chaining three turn your work. Now skip this first stitch underneath the chain and then place a double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and then locate once again your chain from the previous row and work a double crochet into the chain space. So in between, so not into the chain, into the space here. Okay. 
okay so we've got our first few rows there now you'll start to see a pattern emerging quite quickly so let's move on chain three so always chaining three turn your work place three double crochets into that window there that first window so this is an increase row one and two and three so we're always increasing and decreasing along one edge so along our increases and decreases will always be along this edge with these three double crochets to start this row and again you'll start to see what I mean it will become clearer as we move along and then locate the stitch above or this on top of this double crochet from the previous row place a double crochet into that stitch and then to finish up this row place a double crochet into that last chain space okay chain three and turn so you see we're alternating these solid rows with these window rows and we're going to be increasing by one window every two rows okay so this is a window row that we, our previous row was a solid row this next row is a window row so skip that first stitch underneath the chain and then double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then skip one double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then to finish up this row double crochet into that end chain space okay so we've got our next window row so you can see we had a window row down the bottom here solid row window row solid row window row and you can see one window two windows solid row and this it's a bit hard to see until we've done the row above but this this row has three windows so increasing by one window every two rows so chain three our next row is a solid row and it's an increase row so we're increasing along this edge yarn over three double crochets into that first chain space or window one double crochet into the stitch above that double crochet in the previous row double crochet into the next chain space double crochet into the stitch above the double crochet and then double crochet into that final chain space okay so you're starting to see this pattern emerge now so once again chain three window row so we're going to in this row we, since we've got three in the previous row we're going to end up with four in this row so skip un, skip the stitch under the chain double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip one double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then to finish a double crochet into that last chain space so you can see that we've got our four windows one two three and this one on the end until we do the next row is a little bit hard to see makes four so with this color number one we're going to keep going until you've reached 10 rows so we've done the first row was that the double crochet so that's one row next row was the single window row it's a little bit hard to see down the end there but the single window row row three row four row five row six row seven row eight so we've got two more rows of this color so chain three turn three 
double crochets into that first chain space to make our increase along this edge double crochet above the double crochet in that row double crochet in the next chain space then above that stitch next chain space and above the stitch so I'll just finish off this color one and change color on camera here and then we'll we'll move along for a little bit on our own so just to finish off this row a double crochet in that chain space okay so I've got one more row in this color first color one two three chain turn so this is a window row we will have five windows so double crochet in the second stitch once again skipping the one underneath the chain chain one double crochet in the second stitch along so skip one it's chain one skip one so chain one skip one double crochet in the second stitch along chain one skip one chain one and then skip that last one and double crochet into the chain space okay so that finishes our color one that's ten rows so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so if when you're counting at the bottom here just make sure you count those first two rows the first row was our double crochet into that first chain then we had a window row here then the solid row then window solid window solid window solid window makes the 10 so now we're going to change to color 2 and I'll show you how I change color you might have a different method for changing color but I'll show you what I do I just wrap my new yarn over, over my hook like this pull up a loop with the working end then I snip off my previous color to about the same length as my new tail so we'll be coming back to that color one so just keep it handy but in the meantime just pull pull your tails and make sure that you're nice and secure on your hook there and then just start your new your next row with your new color so chain three and so we're on to a solid row so we're going to place our three double crochets into that first chain space and then we're just going to move along for doing exactly the same pattern repeat for 10 rows with color 2 so go ahead and continue on with your with your pattern of increasing one window every two rows and finish 10 rows with this color two and I'll meet you back at the end of my 10th row in my color two okay so I've just finished my 10th row of color two so you'll see obviously now it's becoming quite clear the the shape so we've got our edge that's our non increase edge along here we've got our increase edge along here we've got 10 rows of color one 10 rows of color two and then from here we'll go on and complete 10 rows of color three just using the exact same pattern that we've been working up here if you were using only two colors you would do 15 rows of color one 15 rows of color two so to, to equal up to 30 rows on this increasing side um, if you were just doing one color obviously you'll just work up this whole pattern just in in your one color but from here we're going to move on and change to our color three 
So just change it as you did before, or you can do it my way, just by yarning over, pulling through, tightening your ends, snipping off, I've already done it, but snipping off your, your colour to tail end, and then moving on, chaining three in your third colour, and once again, just make sure those ends are nice and tight. And then start your next row with your new colour. So I'm still increasing my three double crochets into that first chain space. And continuing on the pattern. So continue on from here. Do your ten rows in your colour three. And I'll meet you at the end of my 10 rows in my green. Um, then from there we'll start our decreases. And we'll be changing back to colour 1. Okay, so continue on. Finish your 10 rows in your colour 3. And I'll meet you back after that. Okay, so I've just finished my 10th row with colour 3. Now we're going to move on and start our decrease. So we've we've uh, increased all the way up to our peak. And now we're going to start to decrease down the other side to create the other triangle. Okay. So you'll change colour. Change back to your colour 1. Well, you could change back to colour 2 if you wanted to, just depending how you want your stripes to go. I'm just going to have them... Uh, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. You could do, you know, you could change up your stripes. You could go back to color one, so it's a symmetrical stripe pattern. So you could go, sorry, go back to color two, so it's a symmetrical stripe pattern. Or you could continue with this color three for the next decrease. Um, it's, it's entirely up to you how you want to run it. I'm just going to go back to my color, uh, color one here. And just repeat one, two, three. So change color again, just as you've been doing before. Tighten those ends, snip, snip off. Okay, so we're going to start our decreases now. Okay, so still chaining three and turn now into this first window so we're going to in in this previous increasing part we were increasing every uh, second row okay so we were putting the three double crochets into um, every second row to make our increase so in the decreasing we're going to be decreasing in every row but still only decreasing on this side okay so we won't be decreasing um, on on this side where we didn't increase on the previous part okay so hopefully that makes sense but we'll be decreasing every row but only on this increase decrease edge okay so to do our first decrease we're going to do a double crochet two stitches together so yarn over Insert your hook into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over again and find the top of that of the, the stitch above the double crochet in the previous row. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And then you've got three left, three loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So that works our first decrease. And then um, continue as you would for um, the previous row. So yarning over, insert into the next chain space. Into the stitch above the double crochet. So just finish this row as you've been finishing all the other solid rows previously. So go ahead and finish that row, and I will meet you at the end here, okay? We're not going to decrease um, on this edge, because this is our non-increase-decrease edge. Um, so we will 
um, just continue with our window rows as we've been previously doing and then we'll decrease over this side again but I'll uh, I'll talk you through that so I'll meet you over here and we'll start the next row together okay so I've just finished my first row there with my color one for the second time and now I'm going to start my window row and it's just going to start just um, to remind you that it just starts exactly as you've started all of the others because we're on an, this this edge here it's a non increase or decrease so just can start your window row exactly as you have done previously and work your window row exactly the same as before and when we get down to the end I'll I'll show you how we will finish off here okay we're just going to be skipping a stitch down at the end here so I'll show you how to do that keep on keep on moving on with your uh, color one um, until the end of this row and I'll show you how we'll decrease in this row okay so I'm at the coming up to the end of my first decrease window row so you will have um, assuming you've done all of this correctly you'll have two stitches left and then your chain space okay so what we're going to do is we're going to skip both of those so previously we've been skipping just one stitch we're going to skip both of those at the end of this row and just work into the chain space okay so that gives us our first two decrease rows and you can even start to see that it's starting to angle upwards already okay so just to start again the next row with you so we're at our increase decrease edge so we will be decreasing in this next row so doing our two double crochets together actually let me run through that again slowly with you so yarning over inserting your hook into that first window yarn over pull through yarn over pull through there are two yarn over insert your hook into the top of that stitch yarn over pull through two and then pull through all three okay so we've done our decrease on that edge and then you'll continue as before working your solid row and then you'll keep working all the way to the end you'll start your window row and I'll come back and meet you once again and we'll run through once again how to decrease on this side okay so keep going and I'll see you soon okay so I'm at the end once again of my window row so to decrease I've stopped before the end and I've got these two stitches here to skip and then I'll just put my last double crochet into that chain space so we're decreasing by one window every two rows this time okay rather than increasing we're decreasing by two windows so with this color we're going to continue um, on for nine rows okay so we have a total of 59 rows in this project because we want to finish on a solid row down the end there so it's an odd number of rows so um, keep going with your the, your new color your in my case it's color one you might be continuing with your third color you might have gone back to color two but um, whatever wherever you're at you'll can you'll um, complete nine rows with this color so keep going and I'll meet you after I've finished my nine rows okay so I've done my nine rows in this color so just a reminder that in this in this portion there's just nine rows and then after this we're going back to our ten rows so change your color again to to whichever whichever color you're you're changing to so I'm going to change back to my color two So if you're using just two colors, obviously one of your one of your colors will be 14 rows and then your other one will be uh, 15. Okay, 
So, yeah, so you just have to uh, adjust what you're doing. It's just that we, we have to end on an uh, on an odd number. So we have to cut out one row from one of the one of the um, one of the parts. So I've cut it out of this part here. Okay, so moving on to the next color. So we're just, of course, going to continue with our repeats, our decrease repeats. And we're going to go for 10 rows in this color too. Okay, so go ahead and keep going exactly as you've been doing, just with your next color. And I'll see you at the end of your 10 rows with this color. Okay, so here I am changing my color for the final time. So just finish off with your last color. So we'll have 10 rows of our final color and we'll decrease to the point of the triangle at this edge. So continue on with your same repeat until you get down to the last few rows and I'll uh, I'll run through with you the last few rows so keep on going with your with your final color just as you have been doing previously and I'll meet you like I said I'll run through the last few rows with you and just fin how we finish off this this uh, bandana scarf and how we um, how we weave in all the ends okay so I'll catch you soon okay so I'm nearly down at the end here I'm just finishing off my second to last window row So we just we just keep going all the way to the end so nothing changes. So now I'm at my second to last solid row so I'm just going to decrease as I did before. No change. And then I'll just go because I'm I'm going straight into that chain space for this second to last solid row, chaining three. Moving on to my last window row. So I'm, all I'm going to do is skip these two stitches, not work into them at all, and go straight to the chain space. Chaining three. And then I'm gonna work my last row by placing a double crochet in that chain space. And there's our last row. And I've already snipped off my end. Um, I had to refilm this bit because I didn't press play on the camera. So <laughs> I've already, re I've already uh, snipped off my end. Uh, and oh, I've pulled through and snipped, snipped off. So I'll just pull that one through and tighten. So now, of course, what we need to do is weave in all of our ends. So I'll do that with you on one of them. On camera so what I do with these ends is just I tie them in a double knot and then we'll be weaving them in so the the cream will go into the cream the green will go into the green and we'll weave in all of our ends including our tail ends at the beginning and the end of the project so I'll just thread my needle with the cream and it's just a matter of weaving through so I'm going to assume that you you know how to do this so just weave weave in each of your ends I'm going to go through once just make sure you don't pull too tight And then I'm going to, just to make sure that it's secure, I'm going to double back. 
obviously don't double back exactly where you've come from just double back somewhere where it will be nice and secure and then snip off the excess and you'll go ahead and you'll do that for each one of your ends so if you've done one color you'll just have two ends lucky you <laughs> uh, it's not my favorite thing to do weaving in ends and if you've got all of these color different color changes you'll obviously do the same at each of them you'll do your double knot just to secure it and then weave each tail into the corresponding color okay so I've woven in all my ends and I've got my completed bandana scarf so there's a couple of ways that you can um, wear this on your cat is you can uh, either tie a knot in the front and have a little a little knot around the front and then this sitting at the the back or of course you can have it more like a bandana fold down this front edge and have it more as a bandana so you can choose either to wear it as more like a scarf or more like a, a bandana so I'd love to see photos of um, your cat wearing his or her bandana scarf so please send those along to either catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media on Facebook or Instagram at uh, catventurous.crochet so hope to catch you soon and please if you enjoy this video please like share and subscribe and bye 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 Thanks, baby. Good job. Good job. Good job.